in this session we will understand aspects with regard to multiculturalism so having discussed about culture in the previous session the link is given in the description box those who have not followed so let us understand what is the meaning of multiculturalism why it's important aspect uh, for students of literature and what are the challenges of uh, multiculturalism apart from one or two theories which are commonly referred in multicultural so multiculturalism is the coexistence of diverse cultures where culture includes racial religious or cultural groups and is manifested in customary behaviors cultural assumptions and values patterns of thinking and communicative style multiculturalism can take place on a nationwide scale or within a nation's communities it may occur either naturally through immigration or artificially when jurisdictions of different cultures are combined through legislative decree as in the case of french and english canada proponents of multiculturalism believe that people should retain at least some features of their traditional cultures whereas opponents say that multiculturalism threatens the social order by diminishing the identity and influence of the predominant culture while acknowledging that it is a socio political issue let us understand the sociological aspects of multiculturalism but before that let us understand why is multiculturalism or multicultural literature is important multiculturalism describes the manner in which a given society deals with cultural diversity based on the underlying assumption that members of very different cultures can coexist peacefully multiculturalism expresses the view that society is enriched by preserving respecting and even encouraging cultural diversity and literary texts depict the same in the area of political philosophy multiculturalism refers to the ways in which societies choose to formulate and implement official policies dealing with the equitable treatment of different cultures multicultural literature serves as a powerful tool in enabling uh, scholars of literature to gain a better understanding of both their own culture and the cultures of others therefore developing understanding by reading multicultural literature is very important for students and scholars of literature now let us understand what is the challenge of multiculturalism multiculturalism is closely associated with identity politics the politics of difference and the politics of recognition all of which share a commitment to re uh, valuing disrespected identities and changing uh, dominant patterns of representation and communication that marginalize certain groups multiculturalism stands as a challenge to liberal democracy in liberal democracies all citizens should be treated equally under the law by abstracting the common identity of citizen from the real social cultural political and economic positions and identities of real members of society that leads to a tendency to homogenize the collective of citizens and assume a common political culture that all participate in however that abstract view ignores other politically salient features of the identities of political subjects that exceed the category of citizen such as race religion class and sex although claiming the formal equality of citizens the liberal democratic view tends to underemphasize ways in which citizens are not in fact equal in society 
rather than embracing the traditional liberal image of the melting pot into which people of different cultures are assimilated into a unified national culture multiculturalism generally holds the image of a tossed salad to be more appropriate although being an integral and recognizable part of the whole diverse members of society can maintain their particular identities while residing in the collective so the idea of multiculturalism in contemporary political discourses and in political philosophy reflects a debate about how to understand and respond to the challenges associated with cultural diversity based on ethnic national and religious differences the term multicultural is often used as a descriptive term to characterize the fact of diversity in a society but in what follows the focus is on multiculturalism as a normative ideal in the context of liberal democratic societies while the term has come to encompass a variety of normative claims and goals it is fair to say that proponents of multiculturalism find common ground in rejecting the ideal of the melting pot theory that i'll be discussing in continuation in which members of minority groups are expected to assimilate into the dominant culture instead uh, members of minority groups can maintain their distinctive collective identities and practices in the case of in the case of immigrants proponents emphasize that multiculturalism is compatible with not opposed to the integration of immigrants into society multiculturalism policies provide fairer terms of integration for immigrants now uh, there are two theories of multiculturalism the two primary theories or models as we can call them of multiculturalism Uh, as the manner in which different cultures are integrated into a single society are best defined by the metaphors commonly used to describe them and the metaphors are the melting pot and the salad bowl to begin with what is the melting pot theory let's understand the melting pot theory of multiculturalism assumes that various immigrant groups will tend to meld together abandoning their individual cultures and eventually becoming fully assimilated into the predominant society typically it is used to describe the assimilation of immigrants into the united states the melting pot theory is often illustrated by the metaphor of a foundry's melting pot in which the elements iron and carbon are melted together to create a single stronger metal that is steel in the year 1782 french american immigrant j hector uh, saint john wrote that in america individuals of all nations are melted into a new race of men whose labors and posterity will one day cause great changes in the world the melting pot model has been criticized for reducing diversity causing people to lose their traditions and for having to be enforced through a uh, government or governmental policies for example in the united states indian reorganization act of 1934 forced the assimilation of nearly 3 50000 indigenous people into american society without any regard for the diversity of their heritage and lifestyle now coming to the second theory the salad bowl theory um it's a more liberal theory of multiculturalism than the melting pot theory the theory describes a heterogeneous society in which people coexist but retain at least some of the unique characteristics of the traditional culture like a uh, salad's ingredients different cultures are brought together but rather than coalescing into a single homogeneous culture they retain their own distinct flavors 
to cite an example in the united states new york city with its many unique ethnic communities like little india little odisha and chinatown is considered an example of this theory so the salad bowl theory asserts that it is not necessary for people to give up their cultural heritage in order to be considered members of the dominant uh, society for example african americans do not need to stop observing uh, their festivities than christmas in order to be considered americans on the flip side the cultural differences encouraged by the uh, salad bowl theory or model can divide a society resulting in prejudice and discrimination in addition critics also point to a uh, like political situation wherein appeasement of the minorities can lead to political chaos let's discuss a little more about multicultural societies and their characteristics multicultural societies are characterized by people of different races ethnicities and nationalities living together in the same community in multicultural communities people retain pass on celebrate and share their unique cultural ways of life languages art traditions and behaviors the characteristics of multiculturalism often spread into the communities schools and educational institutions though sometimes this is criticized as a form of political correctness educational systems in multicultural societies stress the histories and traditions of minorities in classrooms and textbooks a study conducted in the year 2018 by a few research center found that the post millennial generation of people between the age group uh, 6 and 21 are the most diverse generation in the american society far from an exclusively american uh, phenomena multiculturalism has become a very common worldwide phenomenon in argentina for example newspaper articles and radio and television programs are commonly presented in english german italian french etc indeed argentina's constitution promotes immigration by recognizing the right of individuals to retain multiple citizenships from other countries as a key element of the country's society canada adopted multiculturalism as official policy during the uh, premiership of uh, trudeau in the 1970s and 1980s in addition The Canadian Constitution along with laws such as the Canadian Multiculturalism Act and the Broadcasting uh, Act of 1991 recognizes the archives the recognizes the importance of multicultural diversity. So multiculturalism has become a way of life across the world. This makes us understand diversity is important. well multiculturalism is the key to achieving a high degree of cultural diversity diversity occurs when people of different races nationalities religions ethnicities and philosophies come together to form a community a truly diverse society is one that recognizes and values the cultural differences in its society among the people proponents of cultural diversity argue that it makes humanity stronger and may uh, it may in fact be vital for long term survival here i wish to uh, uh, like bring to your attention in the year 2001 the general conference of unesco asserted in its universal declaration of cultural diversity that cultural diversity is as necessary for human kind as biodiversity is for nature so this reiterates the way how unesco is promoting cultural diversity so we have come to the end of the session have a look at the key takeaways multiculturalism is the way in which a society deals with cultural diversity both at the national 
and at the community level. Sociologically, multiculturalism assumes that society as a whole benefits from increased diversity through the harmonious coexistence of different cultures. And multiculturalism typically develops according to one of two theories, the melting pot theory and the salad bowl theory.